I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Friday, July 7th. You know what? It's probably warm outside where you are, so celebrate National Freezer Pop Day and stay cool. Speaking of cool, all the scores and highlights from Thursday's action in Major League Baseball can be found on the right side of your screen. What can be cooler than that? Now let's get on to history. And on this day in 1990, Burt Blyleven takes a 7-0 lead into the bottom of the third, but Milwaukee scores one in that inning, six in the fourth, and then 13, count them, 13 runs in the fifth on the way to a 20-7 victory over the LA Angels. Actually, they're California at the time. Greg Brock, Jim Gantner, Daryl Hamilton, and Gary Sheffield each had three hits in the game for the Brewers. And Rob Deere was, of course, the star of the day, drawing a walk and scoring a run as Tom Edens earned the win. Bly 11, well, circle this. He gave up six earned runs and three and a third, taking a no decision. Also on this day in 2009, how about some Andrew Jones? Well, you might want that, but the LA Angels of Anaheim probably had enough. Jones homered in the first and third innings off Urban Santana, then took Rich Thompson deep in the fifth to lead the visitors to an 8-1 victory at the Big A. Rough day for the Angels, apparently. Birthdays on this day, Alan Ashby turned 71. The catcher enjoyed a 17-year career with Houston, Cleveland, and Toronto. He has 1,010 lifetime hits with 183 doubles, 90 homers, and 513 RBIs. Jerome Walton turns 54 today. The 1989 Rookie of the Year batted 293 with 5 homers, 46 RBIs, and 24 stolen bases for the Cubs in that standout debut. Unfortunately, he never quite lived up to that again, finishing a 10-year career with 423 hits, 25 homers, and 132 stolen bases. And Josh Harrison, born on this day in 1987 and still going strong. Jay Hay is in his 12th big league season, and the two-time Pirates All-Star is batting 241 with two homers and 13 RBIs this year for the Chicago White Sox. July is 2011 Tops Month, and today we're honoring Arthur Rhodes. If you're wondering how he came up with Arthur Lee Rhodes today, well, I simply put 2011 Tops Baseball into eBay, and this is the card I randomly came across. It seems fitting, though, as he was on the world champion Cardinals that year. Excuse this Brewer family sheds a tear over that sentence. 2011 was the last season of a 20-year career for Rhodes, in which he won 87 games and saved 33 while pitching in exactly 900. Well, I'm going to go bowl a 900, so I'm out. Sports out. See you tomorrow on the Card of the Day calendar.